out of work. Concussions in sports are a major concern for athletes at any level, but the high speed of college sports can put players at a big risk. Now UNM is taking a step no other university has, studying the brains of a large group of their student athletes. News 13's Alex Goldsmith is in the newsplex. Alex? Jessica, it's called Project BrainSafe, a potentially groundbreaking collaboration between UNM and the Mind Research Network. The goal is to benefit both the athletes and science. On the field and on the court, Lobo players try to make UNM proud. But playing can sometimes come with a cost, repeated head injuries, something that can be both debilitating and damaging in the long term. But Dr. Kent Keel with UNM and the Mind Research Network says just how damaging is often a mystery. And the problem is, is that the types of injuries that happen in a minor concussion or even a significant concussion aren't visible with the technologies that we use right now. Unless you know what an athlete's brain looked like before. That idea is at the heart of Project Brain Safe, a new initiative that will scan the brains of more than 200 UNM athletes. Today I went through the process myself to see what it's like. This is my brain. By the middle of next year, players will have an even more comprehensive scan done. If they suffer a traumatic head injury, they'll be re-scanned and doctors will compare that to their yearly scan. They'll come back in and will analyze, has anything changed? UNM is the first university to take this dramatic step and Keel expects researchers will learn a lot. If you can understand what changes that might occur and, and how people are resilient, well, first of all, then you can develop better helmets, you can develop better treatments, and you just have better scientific understanding. UNM President Bob Frank says it's not just about science, it's also about giving better information to players and keeping them safe. We need to stop them when they're young so that they don't go on and have that long-term debilitating consequence. And that's what this protocol can help them do is say, you need to stop now before you get to this long-term consequence. The other hidden benefit of this is that the brain scan could identify another problem in an athlete's brain like a brain tumor, something that might not have been discovered nearly as early otherwise. Back to you. Okay, Alex, two UNM teams of players have had the brain scans so far. This didn't